What is the remainder when you divide this number by 4? And why is it 2? At paano natin yan alam ng mabilis? Pag-usapan natin yan in this video today. Hi there! Welcome to Team Laika where we try to help you prepare for your next exam. And today, pag-uusapan natin ang isa na namang speed math technique when it comes to figuring out the remainder when you divide a number. Okay? Now, before we do that, just a quick little plug. If you are taking the test and you want additional resources, here you have a few options for you. We still have the workbook and the practice test available online. So you can message us at the Facebook page at m.me slash to get your own copy. And yes, hindi po siya available sa ibang mga uh, online shopping platforms. Doon lang sa Facebook page because we try to make sure that the ones who get them really want them and really want to use them, lalo na with the limited stocks kasi uh, ayoko na yung bibilin nyo lang siya kasi parang pampabuenas. Hindi, kailangan nyo talaga siyang gamitin. So if decided na kayo na gusto nyo bumili, go ahead and message us sa Facebook page. Okay? Alright, now let's jump right in. Sabi dito, what is the remainder when you divide 3,849 by 4? Now, kung gagamitin mo yung traditional method dito, syempre, i-divide mo siya ng buo. And I'll just show you how long it'll take para lang may point of comparison tayo, okay? So, if you have 3,849, divide mo siya sa 4, we'll go from left to right. So, 38 divided by 4, hindi kasi kasha yung 3. And again, this is long division, ha? If hindi nyo pa napapanood yung video natin on long division, i ko na lang din sa taas. We have 38 divided by 4, that would be 9. 9 times 4 is 36. Babawas natin siya dyan, 2, 4. Bababa natin yung 4 doon. So, 24 divided by 4 is going to give us 6. 6 times 4 is 24. So, pag binawas natin ito, this will give us 0. Bababa natin yung 9. 9 divided by 4 is going to give us 2. 2 times 4 is 8. So, pag binawas ko siya, 9 minus 8 is 1. Ang remainder would be 1. Okay? But again, that takes some time. Now, paano mas mabilis? Ipala mo yung divisibility rules when dividing numbers by 4. Mas madali mo itong figure out kasi alam natin na ang rule ay ganito. To figure out if a number is divisible by 4, you just need to look at the last two digits. Huling dalawang digits lang. So, ibig sabihin nun, kung gusto ko siyang sagutan na mas mabilis, ang titinan ko lang ay yung last two digits. 49 na lang. At bihamak na mas mabilis, yung 49 divided by 4. Diba? 1, 4. Ano pa to? Halong method pa to. Pero sa totoo lang, kung familiar ka sa numbers mo, hindi mo na nga kailangan gawin to. Kasi alam mo na agad na ang remainder niya would be 1. Bakit? Kasi yung 48 is divisible by 4. So, yung 49 sobra or lagpas ka lang ng isa. So, ang sagot would be 1. Now, that may not seem like a lot. Pero pagdating sa actual exam, yung mga seconds na yan na sa spare mo could be used for other questions. Kaya malaking bagay ito pag nagmamadali ka sa exam. Now, let's try a different number. Paano naman ito? 28,310. Again, ang trick natin is to just look at the last two digits. So, 10 na lang. 10 divided by 4. Ano ang remainder niyan? Now, alam natin, closest number sa 10 would be 8. So, 10 minus 8, which is actually 4 times 2, ang remainder niyan is 2. So, again, mas mabilis. Di hamak kasi yung gaga... So, again, mas mabilis. So, definitely, mas mabilis kesa kung dadaan ka pa sa 28,300. Diba? Paano naman kung ganito? Kung 0 yung nasa dulo? Sabi nga natin, titignan natin last 2 digits, diba? So, last 2 digits ay 0 at 0. Now, any number na may last 2 digits na 0 ay divisible sa 4. So, ang remainder nito would be 0. Now, that also means na any number na lalagpas ng kaunti dito, so if, for example, we have 39,003, ang gagawin lang natin would be to look at this 3 na sobra dun sa 0, 0 sa dulo, at yun na yung magiging remainder natin. The remainder would be 3. So again, just looking at it, sometimes automatic alam mo na agad yung sagot. Now, to make sure na hindi nyo makakalimutan itong technique na ito, we're going to have a quick quiz, and if you're ready with your pen and paper, your timer starts now.
Alright, let's see how you did. Lagay ko na sila sa gilid para mas madaling natin masolve lahat dito sa isang page na ito. If we have the last two digits here as 30, 30 divided by 4 na lang. Uh, we can do it ng ganito. So, 30 divided by 4 talaga. Or, dahil medyo familiar naman tayo sa numbers or sa multiplication table, para dun sa mga katulad ninyo na na-memorize ito, alam natin ang closest number dito na divisible by 4 is 28. So, ibig sabihin nun, ibabawas ko na lang siya dun sa 30. Ang remainder would be 2. Again, you can still divide it naman like this. Ang gagawin mo lang doon would be to look at 30, tapos i-divide mo siya sa 4, which will give you 7. So, 7 times 4 is 28. Babawas natin siya dyan. Again, the remainder would still be 2. Okay? But I'm just showing you how I would do it kung ako yung nag -e exam Now, dito na tayo sa number 2. Last two digits ay 77. Malapit na sa 80, which we know is a number divisible by 4, definitely. So, ibig sabihin nun, kung yung 80, babawasan ko ng 4, 76. 76 ang closest number na divisible dito. So, ang remainder niya should be 1. Now, if hindi niyo masyadong na-gets yung part na yon, again, we can just divide 77. So, 77 divided by 4, this would be 1. 1 times 4 is 4. Mabawas natin siya dyan. So, we have 37. And here, you have 9. 9 times 4 is 36. Babawas na natin siya dyan. So, again, may remainder tayo na 1. Pareha naman siya doon sa sagot that I just figured out with my familiarity lang ng mga numbers. Next, we have this. Ayan. So, last two digits ay 42. And again, we don't care kan kahit gaano kahaba yung number na yan. Kahit nasa millions siya, last two digits lang kapag 4 ang pinag-uusapan. So, 42 na lang divided by 4. Pwede nyo siyang isulat like this. Or, alam natin, malapit na to sa 40. Lagpas lang siya ng dalawa. So, ang remainder should be 2. And even if you solve this, hindi naman ang lalabas. This is going to be 10. Diba? Babawas lang natin siya dyan. 42 minus 40 is still going to be 2. Alright, now I hope nakatulong yan sa inyo. And again, this is just one of those numbers na you can figure out kung ano yung remainder really quickly. We also discussed yung 3 at saka 9 before. If you haven't seen those videos yet, nilingko na lang dito at saka sa playlist sa baba. And as we always say sa channel na to, never stop learning. Aja aja kainyan. I'll see you on my next video and bye for now.